Hey guys, Sawyer at Sawyer's Lawn Care Service here. Uh, we're heading down to Mass Lepley, our Ventrac dealer, and uh, they uh, put up a whole bunch of upgrades on for me and just general things that were on the list that we wanted to get added to it. Um, we also are picking up, uh, let's see, two, yeah, two new implements for it. Um, one's from the dealer and one is from a third party seller. And so I'm looking forward to picking those up and trying them out and also uh, seeing all the, uh, all the new upgrades that are now on the tractor. So as soon as we get it picked up here, I'll do a walk around and show you what we did. So we got the Ventrac back at the shop. Uh, we're having a slight issue with room in the garage. I'm gonna have to do some reorganization to find out where I can put everything. But it's, uh, it's looking like one mean machine. Let me do a quick walk around here with you, show you what we did to it. So we got a Ventrac power bucket here, the four footer with the grapple on it. Got the uh, teeth installed on it. The Ventrac bucket was like new, so it's basically in great condition. Um, the teeth we just picked up while we were at Mass Lepley there and they're doing all the upgrades. We got the overhead canopy lights. It's so basically, that will allow us to have overall, um, we can have light all the way around. I'll turn them on here so you can take a look at them. So basically everything around the Ventrac when it's working outside, if we have any late days, we got them on the back too, the back kit and the front kit. We have no more lighting issues, of course, with your regular lights you have there as well. On the back here, we got the three-point kit installed and the three-in-one adapter that will allow us to have attachments like that bucket that's on the front. We can bring it on the back with us with a power rake and the sump grinder. We got the hydraulic lift kit here on it. Put all our weights on the back. It should actually have more weight on there than it did prior. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how, how this works is you can put a hitch in here and then the back these are the same arms in the front of the vent track. Only certain attachments will work back here. But you just flip this up. It's kind of weird to do with one hand. Well, I can't do it with one hand. But basically, it releases the hooks that are down there. I don't know if you can see them. And it allows you to hook up uh, the leaf plow on there, the any straight blades, any other three-point attachments. You can take off the three-in-one adapter, uh, the power bucket, you can use, and I found out, talking to the dealership, so you can use the grapple on the back. Sorry, I've got to have the, the light silhouette going on. You can absolutely use the grapple on the back. You just can't use the hydraulic lift cylinder on the back at the same time as using a grapple on the bucket on the back. So you can use the, the bucket and the cylinder or unplug the cylinder, put on the manual one, the manual arm, uh, and then you can run the, the grapple on the back, and that's how that works. So she's looking pretty nice there. Looking forward to moving some logs with this thing. And one final thing we have here, my personal favorite, is the heated suspension seat. So this is pretty cool. So basically what they have here is they have an on-off heating switch here. And I think, it, I mean, it should be nice in the fall time. Right here is a lumbar support. You can't really see it moving on the seat, but it actually feels really nice. Hey, there you go, you can kind of see it going in and out there. But I don't have the best of back, so that really kind of helps out. Uh, having that support there uh, and then another one here you can adjust it forward and backwards have messed around with that one much again kind of difficult to do with one hand this one takes you backwards and forwards it's a rainy day so we're messing around with everything here and then this one is how you pump your seat up when you sit on the seat you want that arrow to be right in the middle there and it gives you nice suspension. So I'm actually gonna hop on here. If I get any rain on the camera, it's uh, it's raining very heavily right now, so I'm just gonna try to give a quick demo of it here. Right, we're gonna put the seat back up. Kind of reclines too a little bit. That's a little far back to my liking. So yeah, the nice lumbar support, 
you can sit here. With my head, I, if I hit a, a very aggressive bump, it would probably matter, because I might hit in the fan. But as it stands, it is very comfy. The seat just kind of moves with you. It's an expensive upgrade, but for me having kind of like some back issues, it doesn't take much for my back to get out or just to start hurting. Um, it's nice to have it there. So yeah, so you just take this pump out here. I don't know if you can see that. But you just kind of pump it until the, or either direction until the arrow is right between those two lines. All right, with all that being said, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Mass Leffa did a fantastic job. They actually had it turned around in like a day and a half. I dropped it off on a, a Tuesday and it came back on a, th it was ready at 10 a.m. on a Thursday. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, they, like I said, they did a fantastic job. Um, yeah, so we're going to, it's just pouring down rain. I don't know if you can see out there right now. Uh, but we're gonna find some room in here in the garage for all this equipment. We actually have the leaf plow sitting out by the trucks. I don't know if you can see it over there. I'm excited to check out this one too. I don't know if you see it. This one's not used very often, so you might not have seen this before. But it is a Ventrax sod cutter, and it's a two foot wide attachment, and it uh, just fits on the front of the tractor. And so basically, instead of having the bucket that digs really deep in, you can dig off sod with the bucket. I just did it the other day. I took like a 15 foot by 15 foot area, but it was kind of uneven, just the way the bucket moves, because when you get down in the hole with the tractor, the bucket wants to go deeper. The sod cutter, on the other hand, has a roller on top that stays above the sod, so you can just strip it off, roll it, and remove it from the property. Uh, yeah. So right now, this is the situation. We have our aerator over here, light material bucket, some parts off the tractor, stump grinder, brush hog, power rake, the KM500 loader. Um, as you can see in this current garage setup, it is getting very packed in here. So we are gonna see what we can do to get the leaf plow and the power bucket out of the rain as well as well as the tractor it's uh it's already been washed but it's getting more rain on it but uh yeah let's see what we can do here a few moments later all right well i got all the equipment put away uh i end up finding two places for the new implements or not the new implements the uh leaf plow and this the uh power bucket so everything is now inside in regards to the ventrac tools uh, I just ended up moving them into the storage container because I ended up working, or not the storage container, but the storage tents. Uh, it's still raining cats and dogs out here, so that's fun. I finally got this put together because this came in a box. It was not already built. So this is the Ventrac sod cutter. So effectively the deal here is this giant steel roller rolls on the top. You set this with a bolt. I think you can go down to all the way, uh, what is it? I think it's two and three quarter, which should go all the way under any sod you want. And then this blade just nice and neatly strips off all the sod. So it's not supposed to be used on the back. It's supposed to be used on the front. Um, I just have it on here just because I, I have the KM500 on the front because I was moving stuff around. But uh, looks like it should be a really nice implement for whenever we need to install a landscape bed. So I'm excited to try it out. Anyways, that's the uh, grand tour of all the new stuff on the Ventrex. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.